So we got another kick predator for y'all. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ash Show. You know, I've gone down a rabbit hole looking at this streamer here. Like, look at my beard, I'm going crazy. And what I found is creepy, psychotic, and criminal. A streamer who on March 1st said, happy to announce I am officially partnered with Kick. And only three days later, banned on Kick for seven days. How does one even get banned on Kick? I thought it was the free speech platform. We can literally watch porn together. I can f off with you. There's no terms of service over there. That's right. You can do literally anything. There's no terms of service That's over insane. on Kick. You can promote violence. You can start a fight club. That's fine. So what did this guy do that got him a seven I think, day? I think, I think, I think violence and prom like, yo, violence and like fight club and shit like that. We see that shit on YouTube. So that's not the craziest thing in the world. So let's calm down. That's not, you shouldn't even use that as an example. Ban on kicks. How about setting up hidden cameras and getting women to perform sexual acts on him without their consent? I'm scared. Oh. Now you have a camera oh. up there. Oh. Or selling his ex-girlfriend's nude photos. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. And that's let insane. Myself. And let me tell you about Derek Graz. Derek Graziano, he's a 19-year-old from Connecticut who has 44,000 on Instagram. He has 32,000 on Kick, and he has 380,000 followers over on TikTok. He started out online in 2021 posting yeah, no videos, and when he got followers on TikTok, he started to stream on Twitch. As far as I can tell, he used to play a lot of Fortnite, and he used to do a lot of Omegle content. Then in 2021, his TikTok evolved into cringy content, okay. doing pranks. Yeah, I fell. I fell for you. <laughs> <laughs> I should say prank because so all of the corny. pranks were the same thing over and over again. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why does it look like clicks? Streaming career because his terrible TikToks and his thirst traps on Instagram aren't the problem. It's his secret streams. So like every Aiden Rust wannabe, Derek started off streaming with girls, doing dares, yelling at people in Discord calls. Personally, I was just saying I'm not starting beef over a What's fucking up? I'm right, right now. I'm I'm up. Up. He even gave out the occasional advice. Wow, it's so much easier to flirt with a girl when you have a girlfriend on the side. But somewhere along the way, he gets an indefinite ban on Twitch. Uh, my name is Derek Graz. Um, I was a streamer on Twitch. I had about like 50,000 50, followers. Um, and, you know, they were starting to do a career for me. Um, and on January 27th, uh, my Why account get banned Derek Graz was it definitely suspended. I can't take an L. That's so crazy though. Like, And it's like, Kick is like, oh, we'll take you. Fucking Industry insane. tried to get rid of me. Call me put on or a wannabe, but you can't knock me off my grind. But it's fine. In his own words, he still has- Wait, did I see? Look. You stream once a week plus ratio. What the actual fuck? And he got ratioed. So clicks knows this nigga. They look alike, dude. Put on or wanna be, but you can't knock me off my grind. But it's fine. In his own words, he still has YouTube and TikTok to grind. He even made a promo video talking about his move from Twitch to YouTube streaming. Picking up girls on Tinder while fighting with their girlfriend on the phone is crazy. Also, like. I'm also friends with him. It's not like some random guy. I've seen like whatever. See, that's good content. Oh, until yo, he yo, that's crazy though. <laughs> he's arguing with his girl on the phone and he's scrolling on Tinder. What, like, and he has it. <laughs> Twenty minutes, he has the phone on here and he's scrolling. Like, what I don't understand with these niggas, right? It's like, yo, like, do the girls not have social media platforms? It's like you're talking about your mom or something. Like, if you're fooling your mom like that, I understand. She don't be using social media like that. Your girlfriend? Like, she don't think to think, like, oh, is he streaming right now while I'm talking to him on the phone? Like, I don't know. Random guy. I've seen, like, whatever. See? That's good content. Oh, until he got banned on YouTube as well. Banned on YouTube for seven days. And just like everybody else, what do people usually do when they get banned on YouTube and Twitch? Announce their move to Kick. We'll be streaming on Kick for the next two weeks. Five subs equals one day. Subscribe to Derek Ross on YouTube. Yo. <laughs> Yo, where you get these bitches from, though? <laughs> Yo, game is game. But that's what I'm saying though. The crazy part is like, who are these bitches though that's going for this? Like you're the fifth, sixth girl on a stream. Like when do they draw the line? Oh. Subscribe to Derek Ross on YouTube. Subscribe to Derek Ross on YouTube.
subscribe to Derek Cross on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking What's up? Up? I'm right here right now. I'll give a fuck. Turbulence check. Let me uh, ruin it for you. What? I got one thing to say. What? Turbulence check. What? What the actual fuck? <laughs> Little ass smacks! <laughs> Yo, just in case you ain't heard that, you have to turn up the volume and shit like that. Little ass smacks. Until, dear Derek Graz, your account has been temporarily suspended due to breach of terms of service. Reason, sexually explicit content. If you've been banned on three separate platforms, why would you continue doing exactly what you're doing? Well, maybe because of the validation. Because on September 10th, 2023, Derek tweeted, train wrecks just changed my life, bro. Kick rise. And he shows a video where the streamer and part owner of Kick, train wrecks donated $5,000 to him. Train wrecks donated $5,000. That's a lot of love. Take 5,000 for that he level He threw of that bitch content. off of him. Basically giving him a pat on the back for streaming on Kick and telling him, keep up the good work. Two years ago, I was banned on Twitch for no reason, no timing, nothing. My account was just gone. I felt hopeless, so depressed for months. My life went from the highest point, crashing straight to the bottom. The feeling could not be described how bad I felt. I don't think Kick realizes how many people they pulled out of depression and gave them hope for, to be a successful creator and chase their dreams. Man! Get your... Get your ass on, bro. And this is the worst part about Kick, right? Cause like the own, like the, the like literally like the people that have ownership and Kick consciously knows like knows these things and they're supporting them, right? For example, Trainwreck donated five thousand, right? And y'all remember Schnags? Schnags that gotta be beating his chest and shit like that, right? That said that I was talking to a fourteen year old, and she she was in eighth grade. And he said, let me play with that little 8th grade poom poom. He quite literally said that, right? And then he was on the phone with, um, what's it called? He was on the phone with Aiden, and Aiden was laughing about it and be like, yeah, I'll try to get you unbanned, bro. But yeah, now nah, that was messed up. You shouldn't say that. And he's laughing. So it's like the people that are at the top are directly connected with these pedals, bro. It's actually sad. Like I don't know why he said that he was banned for no reason. There was a reason, and he knows what it was because he admits it in his apology video to Twitch. But I'm here to tell y'all that I don't think it was a mess of portion. I believe, I truly believe I was banned um, for my actions. Um, and I, I'm taking full responsibility and full accountability for my actions. Okay, okay, Mel, September okay, 2023, it's a new era for Derek. He's moving to Los Angeles. So he moves to LA and he tries to get his name out there by going to people's birthday parties like Summer Rae, begging for a follow on Instagram from her. I gotta follow back on Instagram too or no? Please, I'll give you 20. Nah, bro. I'll give you 20 bucks. I have no service, but I'm right Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Meeting phase. I swear, like, asking a person for a follow back, like, in person is, like, one of the most awkward shit you can do, bro. Now, I'm saying he looks just like Clicks. But I'm saying though, like, you know how awkward that is? Like, oh my fucking God, that would piss me off. Bro. Rug on a YouTube reality show. And trying to get into fights with his kick idols like Neon, Jack Doherty, and the Island Boys for clout. I'm not here. Oh, you were silent before. What do you have to say now? I'm not here. What do you have to say now? Now that we've established his origin story, let me tell you exactly why he's the creepiest person online. I got this post on my subreddit, r slash the Ash show, that read, You should consider covering the streamer. He's just as bad as Riot Lol. And if you remember, Riot Lol is the person I talked about previously that would secretly record women exposing themselves on yeah, camera yeah, yeah. and post it in his Wait, Discord. Wait, so. so whatever happened to this nigga? Like, what happened to this nigga? So let me go through this one part at a time. Kick streamer Derek Graz has been exposed for secretly streaming girls via hitting camera performing sex acts. So Derek would have streams where he would go through his Snapchat, opening pictures that girls would send him, exposing their nudes to people watching his streams. And when he got away with doing this, he decided to ramp it up. He would match with people on Tinder, invite them over, and filmed everything that would happen on their dates. One of my friends uh, was on my account, on my Tinder account, made me, made me a Tinder account and um, so he basically matched with this girl. What the um, fuck? I, I literally have no clue what she looks like. I, uh, I have no clue what she looks like. She this guy is nasty as fuck. This is my first time meeting her too. Um, and I'm gonna set up the camera like a, 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 uh, what's it called? Like a fucking, like a, a hidden camera. And then, um, 
I'm gonna have an earpiece. I'm gonna have the headphones. I'm gonna have my hoodie up. I'm gonna have my hoodie up like this, and I'm gonna have a headphone, bro. I'm gonna have the headphones. I'm gonna have the headphones in, and every single every, oh, the TTS. Every single donation, like with the TTS, it's gonna like it's so you guys can move the say and see what to do, bro. I saw the majority of this vlog that, that somebody re-uploaded, and there's a part where he takes off his pants and he starts becoming more aggressive with this girl that he invites over. She says that she's Ubering home, and he begs her to stay. Uber? Why? Because. She stays for a bit longer, they lie down on the couch, and you can see that there's some hand activity happening underneath the covers. And that's when he decides to get up and turn the camera. He didn't get banned for this at all. Even though she didn't consent to being on camera, he even admits that the camera was there secretly. And I'm gonna set up the camera like a, 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 uh, what's it called? Like a fucking, like a, a hidden camera? But when I saw this, I thought maybe... It wasn't real. Thought it was a setup situation because of oh, the way like that he skit? reacted afterwards. Oh my god, I'm still alive! No way, I just had a girl. Oh my god! But I only thought it was fake until I saw this other Reddit post from seven months ago. This dude is live streaming girls without consent, and he did it to my friend. I have an insane story that I need public, please. So my friend went on a no. Tinder date to this guy's house and the dude was live streaming her the whole time and she didn't know about it. She has the video evidence and he also has done it multiple times to other girls in the past. He streams on Kick. His username is Derek Graz. She's tried to start a lawsuit, but the police aren't doing anything about it. And she can't afford to lose in court, so she's like too scared to really get this guy in trouble. She changed her clothes on stream without knowing he was recording her. She even saved the clip when she first entered the room and saw the camera and said, Is this thing on? Is that a camera? I'm scared, you're recording me. And Derek told her he wasn't recording her. He went through her purse on stream while she was in the bathroom and stole her credit card number. He charged her with $300, we wrote a long email to Kick, but I already know they won't do Help me get this guy banned, please. They call it secret stream. And I didn't know this was a thing until now and she didn't either. I reached out to the person who posted this because I wanted to know more information. I wanted to see if the police report went through and to hear more of her story. But people don't ever check Reddit DMs, so I haven't heard anything back. But I also saw this. This is the video where Derek invites someone over from Tinder. He's asking her questions and she doesn't seem to want to answer because she's suspicious of this camera setup and she says something. Uh, I would be like that's recording or something. The I'm scared. Ring light? I'm scared. Uh, no, you have a camera uh, up there. Oh, uh, I shut it off. Come on. Oh, so it's on? No, so the computer's on. Obviously. They're not out of fucking thing, you know? She then goes to change her clothes and tells him to turn around or not look, but he just goes to his chair while he's streaming, he's looking at his phone and reading the chat, and his camera is still filming to thousands of people. So based off of the Reddit post, this- Like, do you see the chat though? Like, and his camera is still- Still filming. You're weird. One person? C come on! Mom, Max, boy! Lame, W Max, W Max, W Max to thousands of people. Look, W save. So based off of the Reddit post, this is the same situation. Now let me get into the second part of this Reddit post. He's also live streamed himself selling nudes and sex tapes of his two ex-girlfriends. One of them apparently has a large following on social media and was underage at the time. Once again, Derek is streaming. This time that he's on insane. Snapchat with his friend and he's in a call with his friend. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and he's showing this person compromising pictures of his ex-girlfriend and whoever's on the phone asks to pay for them he says i'll give you 10 gifted subs for these pictures and videos and he sends the money i'll give 10 gifts you send it to me right now all of them all right 10 gifted 10 gifted there's more oh my god yeah. holy fuck bro thank you wait 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 my nigga has 22 subs. Like, wh where is this? Like, I don't understand. Like, that nigga was in a high rise not too long ago. Like, one of his streams where he was like, I'm going to hide this camera and shit. He was on a high rise. Where is this money coming from? This nigga got, tw maybe he got 22 subs that day. And there's more. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. Holy fuck, bro. Thank you. Person on the call admits that he's going to resell them for a hundred dollars. Yeah, I just flipped all those news for like fucking hundred bucks. So that's true. No, 
If you think he's making shtick or they're crazy. just making a joke with each other, in his Discord server, they were talking about this in the general chat. If Derek's Snapchat messages or his Discord messages or Twitter DMs get subpoenaed, Yo, what's good, Hannah? What do you think is gonna happen? And remember, Kick only gave him a seven day ban. Derek is a garbage human, Kick is a garbage platform. Didn't he get arrested for pranking teachers during their lectures? Let me explain. Well, where do you live? How old are you? Man, I just uh, feel like going like this and kicking in the face. Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm 19, sir. You're 19 years old and you eat this kind of shit? Sorry. The cops should have just held on to him. But there you go, another kick streamer who should be in jail. Well, thank you everyone for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, leave me a comment down below. 73%. Y'all, y'all really gotta understand that like Kick is known for this shit. Like it's gonna catch up to Kick chat. Like they can't keep doing this for too long, bro. It's gonna catch up to Kick, bro. Y'all gotta understand, bro. Like their their whole platform is known for pr having predators.